Hey, Dan Passarelli here. One of the things I'm often asked is, Dan, how do I measure options liquidity? Well, first, let's talk about what liquidity is. Liquidity is basically just a fancy word for saying how easy it is to get into or out of a position without changing the market, without having the market makers uh, lower their bids or raise their offers to not trade with you. So one of the ways to measure that is simply by looking at the bid-ask spread. For very small traders who trade one or two lots, um, you know, if, if you're willing to buy the offer or sell the bid, then you can almost always buy one or two or sell one or two. Now, if the markets are very wide, you might not want to do that. So let's take a look. This is a stock, uh, CDW Corp., right? And as you can see, these markets are really, really wide, right? Um, 80 cent bid at $1.75. I have a rule that I don't like to see the offer more than 10% greater than the bid. So if the bid is 80, I wouldn't want to see that offer anywhere above 88. And this is massively above there. They say this is so wide you can drive a truck through it. Now, another way that we can measure liquidity is also by looking at the volume and open interest. Now, there's practically no volume going here, going on here. There's pretty little open interest as well. That's particularly helpful for bigger traders. But if the, if the offer is more than 10% higher than the bid, you don't want to trade this anyway. So let's look at an example of something that is very liquid. Apple is about one of the most liquid options names out there. First of all, we can see just by looking at the bid ask spread, 191 bid at 192, 115 bid at 116, they're a penny wide, easily passes that uh, test, uh, the 10% rule, right? And we can also look and see the open interest. There's thousands and thousands, tens of thousands sometimes of open interest, uh, as well as volume two. So you can go in here and you can probably trade quite a bit without moving the market all that much. Liquidity is important because the bid-ask spread is a cost of doing business. If you always have to pay a lot more than the fair value or sell it a lot less than the fair value, you're probably not going to make money in the long run. So look for those tight markets with high volume and open interest. I hope that helps. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.